everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to what's turning out to be another beautiful day now if you're watching this video you're probably like hey he's got all the body parts off he undid this transmission so what's left well I'll tell you what's next Drew is on his way over here and it's finally time to take out the engine <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to take the engine out. We gotta take the intake manifold off first. Drew is getting the engine hoist ready. And uh, then this thing is gonna come out and hopefully something better goes back in, but uh, we'll see. The motor mounts? Yeah, so the, the bolts are off. So once we pick it up, it's gonna come oh, right out. Oh, it's just sitting. It's just sitting. And then I got a jack on the back of the transmission. Uh, I gotta take the fuel rail off, don't I? Yeah. Um, probably a... Ten. Should have had this already. Slap. Hey, look at all these fancy covers. Okay, where else is this thing mount up to? Oh, yep, that's it. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm okay. When I got, when I sold the dude my stuff, I had him give me his stock stuff. He had oh, a grab. Sold it. Yeah, he had a ooh ooh gas poured out, hit me in the leg. I'm gonna die. Okay, I would think it would just pull up. Oh, yep, yeah, and it does. Should probably just connect some of this stuff, huh? Yeah. We'll assume there's probably something in the back here holding it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I think probably something shit plugged in there. Yeah. Bunch of shit. Ooh, there's a shit ton of leaves underneath this. Oh. Huh? I think it's off. Okay. Bam. There we go. Dang. How does that stuff not burn up? Mm hmm. What are these? I remember you telling me it's something about some sensors that were under. I don't know. Was it was it you that was telling me? Mm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was you. Maybe it was. This on hooks, and you have to get this whole thing off. Just love Why does it go up to the wall? I, I don't know. That's what I was saying. Unless it unhooks somewhere. Yeah, because there's this <clears throat> harness. Because this goes to this, and I unplugged it from the oh, engine okay. harness. Yeah, I already took that off. I were you, you'd be taller. Yeah, grab a vacuum and vacuum all this stuff up, but also shove, shove some stuff in there so stuff doesn't afterwards fall in. But I'd do that before we tried pulling it out. Cause... And pull the alternator and the AC. Pull the motor out, so we're gonna pull it back where the intake manifold sits. It's pretty, pretty good if you ask So they me. made that and bolted it yeah, across here, here oh. is what they did. Dude, you've been making some progress. Where are the turfs? Well, we should be good then to uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Yeah. It'll fit over here and here. Okay. We'll just readjust. Oh, I got myself stuck in here. All right, we just got back from Harbor Freight. We got a engine stand I'm putting together. Drew is trying to find bolts that'll fit in here so we can start pulling the engine out. Um, everything's already disconnected. All we gotta do is just bolt it up and get it out. Oh, it's moving. Okay. That's a cool. good sign. There it goes. I don't know how much room we got back there. I probably should have uh, drained the oil and taken that oil filter off of there. You got the headers off? Huh? The headers? Uh, I have one loose. Uh, the the one on there is just floating, but it wouldn't clear the this and is, and oh, to get those bolts off, you have to get take the motor mount off. Shit, that's what's hitting is the oil filter over here. You you know what? You can uh, or I'm pretty sure <clears throat> you should be able to. Well, no, I'm not sure, but. I think you can just take the oil filter off and the oil is not going to continue to drain out of it, right? 
Since it gets pumped since, through. Since it's been sitting for as long as it should, everything should be in the pan. Yeah. What? It's off on that side. We need to get this side lifted. You said the header's still on on this on side? On both sides. But it's loose it's, on that side. Oh, oh okay. Because okay. the motor mount has to come off to get the header out. Okay, so the engine was getting hung up. Uh, we thought at first it was the motor mounts, but then I got down in here and I noticed that the wiring for the power for like the starter and the alternator was still connected. So we got that loose. So we're hoping now it'll just come through free and clear. Um, with these motor mounts, you're going to need a deep well socket 13 on both sides to be able to get to one of the studs. So that's kind of holding us up. So that's why the motor mounts aren't off. So we're hoping that we can get it out of here without having to do that. Oh, the whole car's starting to come up now. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I got some chains sitting right here. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. What, you got it? Well, ouch. I pried on it here, and it came up. Okay. So, let's see. It doesn't come up big. Bang. Oh! There, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, 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 oh. the header. The header's hitting. Yeah. Damn. Don't need that. It's hitting something. The other header? Oh, yeah, because it's the whole cat and everything. Um, uh, maybe I can get to that bolt there now that this thing's up. This shit's connected here. Oh. <laughs> the motor is out. Um, it, it got hung up on the motor mount, so we were able to get that off. Uh, it got hung up back here with a ground. Uh, back here on the transmission, there were some more connectors that I didn't see. But other than that, um, it came out. I have no doubt in my mind that your truck engine is going to come out a lot easier than this. But uh, we have it out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the transmission off and get it onto a pallet and then get this thing here over onto the engine stand. This thing snapped off. Well, it's something to slide over that. Slide over what? That. When you put it on, you get more leverage. Or was I turning it the wrong way? Might have been turning it the wrong way. Yeah, I might have been turning it the wrong way. Because I was thinking lefty loosey, but I need to be thinking, of, yeah, I'm pulling up, so I made it tighter. <laughs> yep, I was just turning it the wrong way. Uh, okay. well, ready for this? As rare as I'm going to be, it's going to flip your direction if anything goes wrong. Dude, it really looks like it's starting to bend forward, doesn't it? Yeah. Dude, that whole thing is leaning hard. <laughs> this is not a thousand pound engine. No, it's not. I'd say we just put it on the ground, dude. If you want, we'll wait to that. I mean, I really don't want to take the mine out. Yeah, I'd, I'd just rather just get everything ready first. We can just leave it on the hoist. I would not leave it like that. This is definitely fucking like. The whole thing looks like it's ready to tip over. Dude. Someone by Harbor Freight and got the engine stand, but we're actually gonna take it back and get something different because this here leans too far forward and it's already leaning up and the majority of the weight is carried by the engine hoist. So I don't feel too comfortable. It was even worse when we had all the weight on here. So uh, to prevent this thing from dumping on the ground, I think it's best if we don't use this one. So as you guys can see behind me, we got the engine out. The transmission is sitting over here on the pallet. We had the battery die on us multiple times on the camera, but we did get snagged on the flex plate on this thing. We also had some problems getting the engine itself out because of different things that were attached, whether it be sensors or ground cables from areas that we couldn't see on this. So that was taken care of, the engine is out. We need to start working on getting parts in to complete the build, whether it be RTR parts or the stock parts for the 18 and 20. So we're gonna be hopping online trying to find stuff like that. 
Also, we got a new car. We got a CLA250 Mercedes, so we do have a new family car, which means the back seat is not going back in this car and we're gonna be putting a roll cage in there. Just a bolt-in partial cage, but it will be going in here. So we're gonna get started on all that, breaking down the engine, seeing what happened to it, and waiting for the new engine to come in. So until then, make sure that you like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you can come along on the ride with us. Until then, see ya.